Hey guys, this is Chris with Escapod. Uh, I want to take a moment to show you one of our new builds, and this is the first that is very uh, close to what we'll be releasing for our 2019 model. Uh, there's a lot of cool new features, and I want to just take a moment and uh, talk about them with you. So first and foremost, uh, as far as the, the basic components of the build, uh, our trailer frame is the same. It's built out of 2 by 2 8 inch steel tube frame, and uh, that is totally protected underneath uh, with an RV woven fabric and underneath you can see a few extra things our skid plate with a 21 gallon water tank as well as the Dexter uh, independent suspension torsion axle so here's a lot of what's going on underneath very solid frame very easy to tow um, incredibly balanced so starting with the cabin as well, uh, we make this a nine and a half foot cabin, which really makes it a very comfortable space to sleep in with a queen size mattress inside. And that leaves plenty of room for a full kitchen as well in the back, which I'll show you in a moment. So inside we've totally redone our interior cabinetry. You can see here, we've added some of those topo lines to the uh, design here. And then also the headboard area is totally changed. So we redesigned that to be at an angle that makes it a lot easier for, uh, more comfortable for lounging. And also has this uh, front access storage now, which is really great for storing chairs, uh, for storing, as you see here, the, uh, the jack for the stabilizers in the back. And then what you'll see atop is some actual trays just for keeping your uh, your keys, your wallet, your phone, and then right above that we have a brand new double pane stargazer window. Uh, it's very, very rigidly built, really built to withstand a lot of, uh, you know, the elements and, and keep all that warmth in. Another thing here for these interior cabinets is we've uh, done a nice little addition of adding this cabinet on the bottom which opens up and has this little kind of nub right on top. And that nests with the upper cabinet to create a nice laptop stand for you. So that's just another feature we've added in to make this just as comfortable and capable on the inside as on the outside. As you can see, double doors that come standard with all of our builds. Um, and then recently, you know, we added, um, our fenders have always been very rigid, built to the frame, usable as a step. Uh, but they're quite high so we we included um, the addition of a fender step here right into the build of the frame uh, and then the way we designed that we integrated the water supply directly into that to make sure it's protected and just set away from the from the door a little bit up here we have a on-demand hot water heater and shower um, so that is just housed inside this box here open that up you see the uh, on-demand system with the six-foot extendable hose. And then a really nice feature which we just added is a channel here that you'll see what happens um, when I show you the back cabinetry is it actually mounts to that to create an entirely uh, a full-service kind of wash station uh, with the new cabinetry options we have in the back. So moving to the galley area. Um, you'll see first and foremost the uh, the Yeti that we have which still comes standard 65 liter 65 liter uh, Yeti Tundra You'll notice now that's on locking drawer slides. So it locks in and out Very sturdy 600 pound rated, which is great for you know, really bumping down the road with a, a full cooler full of full of food um, The other thing uh, the interior or the rear cabinetry totally redesigned out of high-density polyethylene uh, so this is a material, short name HDPE, really big in the marine industry, great for waterproof, highly durable uh, environments. Um, the nice thing about this is that after these tabs are removed and this pulls down, you have tons of cabinet space in here. And then the, the hinges themselves have a removable pin. So that entire cabinet face just can come right off and be, it can double. Not only is really usable space now here that is totally unencumbered by the use of a door or a slide drawer, 
um, but what you're looking at here is actually the componentry of an adjustable leg system uh, with a gusset that mounts to this side of the frame right on the fender or the other side uh, a little lower for eating height and this is prep table height over here. Similarly on this side uh, we have a removable face on this as well that is just great for it being cutting board material on this side. So this can be your setup in the cabin. You have full access to everything. Uh, really easy once your base camp is set up and then you just pack it all up and it's secure when you go. Uh, as standard, we have the LED lighting up top. Uh, this looks pretty faint in the daylight, but it's super illuminating at night. Uh, we've recently upgraded our stove as well. So we've moved to a much bigger model here. Um, and then just like any standard propane stove, you just turn on the propane. Um, this now has an auto ignition. So now you're lit and you're good to go there. Really nice option, great product from, from Dometic that they've recently included in their suite of add-ons. Uh, the cabinetry, the drawers down here, self-locking. We've totally redesigned these recently to be much bigger, uh, deeper drawers, locking built into the hardware itself, the way we've designed the cabinets. Uh, really nice, secure for storage. This one down here on this model is actually just a vent. Uh, we have a forced air Propex propane heater uh, and the, the thermostat for that is inside. But what we've done with this model is created a duct here that feeds into the foot of the bed and then additional uh, breathable venting there. few other last things, uh, here's what I mentioned, the channel for the, the dining table, table height. Uh, we do have stabilizers on both sides. You can see the 21 gallon water tank with skid plates down there as well. This is our standard wheel setup with uh, 17 inch wheels, uh, 265, 70, 17 Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner AT tires. Uh, and then the Rhino Rack also up top comes standard as well as the crossbars and the fan. So coming in this side, you can see how much room there is in here and how open it feels when there's two doors always open. You get tons of light, tons of airiness. Um, the nice thing about this headboard as well is that now you have a few extra inches of sleepable, usable space uh, when you consider how high your head is going to be. So it's not a fixed 80 inches, it's actually a little more than that. Um, and then over here in this cubby, you can see what I mentioned earlier, that's the thermostat for the heater. So you never have to leave with that option. Got USB chargers up there as well. Um, the LED lighting is recessed in this model, uh, in all models actually. And that's really, really nice just to have tons of light in here. It's nice warm LED light and uh, it's something that is totally out of your eyes when you're lying down. So that's pretty much it. That's a lot of our new features. Um, if you have any questions about this or any of our other options, uh, please do reach out and we'd be happy to uh, talk with you about what a build could look like and the details of, of how uh, what our, our queue looks like at the moment and, and when we can get a trailer for you. Um, last thing to note here, this is a custom topography for Mount Shuksan, which was really uh, a very important mountain to this particular client in Washington. And uh, that's something that we really like doing is just creating a custom build for, for each customer to make sure that this feels really special for them uh, and is something that they can really cherish and use for quite a long time. So that's what we have for now. More to come. Thanks so much for watching.